Listen to me. At the end of the day, time and chance will happen to all. The difference will be how we manage this. At the end of the day, opportunities will happen to everybody. The difference is how we manage it. So at the end, management will be the real deal. Everybody will have an opportunity to have made it. Everybody will have an opportunity to have been serious with his academics. Everybody will have an opportunity to have been serious with their work with God. But maybe you, you got the chance to go to school. You slept on your books. Yes, the end of the matter is management. How we all manage. Everybody by God's grace will have a chance to meet a man or a woman. The end of it is how you manage them. How you manage them will let it end in marriage or end in breakup in relationship. It is all about management. The end of life is management. Everybody will be given an advantage. Everybody will be given an opportunity. Time and chance happens to them all. That is why the rich man's time is not above 24 hours. And the poor man's time is not less than 24 hours. We all have been given opportunities and time. But the end of the matter is management. So Jesus will tell you that I will work the works of him that sent me. Whilst it is day for a night cometh that no man can work. And then the wisest man on earth will tell you that remember the Lord in the days of your youth. While the evil days approaches. Then Apostle Paul will come in Ephesians chapter 5 and come and tell you that be circumspect with your time. Why? Because everybody will be handed over over something but the end of the matter is how we manage it it is how we manage it that will make the difference that will make one rich and one poor that will make one successful and one fail one. that is why jesus gave parable of of the five talents and of the two talents and of the one talent yes one will go and put his own in the soil another will work with you it's all about management uh, everybody so martin luther will tell you that i have two days on my calendar today and the judgment day I have two days on my calendar today and the judgment day so if he wakes up today he leaves us though today is the last day of his life he manages his life and there are others too that think that they have 20 more years never think you must be old by force let, let me sound this one and then we continue never think your father got to 70 so you also get to 70. time is not the, uh, 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 the right of everyone no there are some that must die at 80 some must die at 33. When God Himself came, He made sure He died at 33. So that if you die at less than any uh, figure around 40, you shouldn't be worried because He Himself died around that time. So nobody has the right to say, I must be old. No, no. In fact, when He was prophesying about Jesus, He prophesied about Jesus in Psalm 91, everything about Psalm 91. And He said, With long life will I satisfy Him. And actually, the long life was 33. So as far if you are 33 years to God, you have really lived long to make him part. You have really lived too long to make him part. That thing about the future is for us. Where the 35, the future is for you. You are in the future. You are in the future. This thing about mismanagement of our lives. Thinking that we have many years. No. 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 He said, long life will life satisfy him. But when God, Jesus came, he spent 33 years. That means to God, 33 is long life. Okay. A man can save the world within 33 years. Leaving an inheritance for your three children, you need 80 years. The only thing that you can never get back if you lose is time. So when the Bible says time and chance, and it says that seasons and purposes are in time, the thing when it passes, you can't get back has seasons and purposes a time to die a christian history a time to die a time to live so every day you see has a purpose in it so if the day pass and you can't have it that means the purpose in it if you didn't utilize it you can't have it one of the greatest miracles that can ever happen to you is to come to your senses and tell yourself i must manage my life is to come to you you don't have too much time do you know why the only the only person among the disciples of Jesus that Jesus told that he should go and take money from a, 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 the mouth of a fish and pay his Jesus' tax and his own tax was Peter. Because only Peter was above 21. All the disciples were below. 
So they were not supposed to pay tax. So among all of them, only Peter and Jesus had to pay tax. Who did I want to say? Stephen was 17 years when he was being stolen. Mary was less than 18. When we are talking about the management of life, how can you be above 30 and you still think that there is more time? As far as God is concerned, after 12, after 12 years, you must be working our destiny. Never sleep a whole day without working towards what you have been called for. Never. How can you spend the 24 hours without reading? What is wrong with you? You didn't read anything new into your head. You didn't listen to anything into your head. You still want to make it. You don't have too much time. I prophesy again. Jesus. Receive the grace to manage your life. Amen. I said receive the grace to manage your life. Amen. Receive the grace to manage your life. Holy Spirit by your influence. Jesus. Make me a good manager of life. Amen. Lift up your voice. Amen. 